This video is brought to you by the Carton Council. So I hope that someone didn't intentionally try to recycle their lizard, but home, home, just wanna go, just wanna go home, home. Hey guys, it's Kara. Today I've partnered with the Carton Council to bring you a super fun DIY. We're making a carton upcycle planter. And we're gonna get to the DIY in a little bit, but first I have to tell you some super interesting things about recycling. I promise you some of these things are going to blow your mind because they definitely did me. So in honor of Earth Day, I went to the Alpine Recycling Plant in Denver and I learned how they recycle cartons. So we got to go behind the scenes and see how all the equipment works which was super freaking interesting. But before I get to my five fun facts about recycling that are gonna surprise you, let's first just talk about how to recycle a carton. So if you're like me, you did not know that you should be recycling your cartons. I have thrown so many of these away and I felt pretty bad about it. But then I learned fun fact number one, which is not all cartons have a recycling label on them. So while they're all recyclable, not all of them are labeled as such. So, so it's not totally my fault, but I'm going to recycle my containers from now on. Okay, we're gonna talk about my other fun, mind-blowing facts in a second, but here's the three steps to recycling a carton. Number one, you empty it out. You don't have to rinse it, you just have to make sure all the food's out, because if it's not, it can explode, which I learned is a thing with milk cartons. You can leave the cap on. If it comes with a straw, you can just push the straw in, because otherwise these items are so tiny, they're not gonna get recycled unless you leave them intact. After you empty it out, you put it in the recycle bin and then you take it to the curb. So that's the three easy steps, empty it, recycle bin, curb. For some reason in my brain, I thought it was gonna be way more complicated, like washing it or smushing it, but nope. And that brings us to fun fact number two, which is that some recycling plants actually use robots with artificial intelligence to sort out their cartons. Um, at Alpine, they literally have a robot named Clark and he scans the conveyor belt and then super fast, like whips off all the cartons with his suction hand. And it was some of the coolest technology I've ever seen. Like I did not know recycling was a very innovative industry. I thought it was kind of like a boring process we did with trash, but it turns out there is a lot going on when it comes to recycling something. There's a lot behind the scenes. An AI robot is one of them. Fun fact number three is that cartons can be made into other paper products and building materials like this thing, which is actually a piece of Raywall made entirely of cartons. It's one of the coolest textures I've seen. And the second I looked at it, I was like, this needs to be an accent wall. Fun fact number four is that the strangest thing they ever found at the Alpine recycling plant was a bearded dragon lizard. Literally somebody's lizard got into the recycling. I hope they didn't try to recycle him on purpose because that is crazy. The people at Alpine took him to the vet and tried to save him, but sadly he was lost. But it's definitely super strange and also very sad. Fun fact number five, um, I kind of thought recycling, like the whole point was like to keep things out of landfills, but I learned that it takes less energy to make something from recycled materials than it does to like start fresh and make it brand new. So not only does it help keep our world less trashy, it also is way more energy efficient. So thank you all for listening to my fun facts about recycling. I hope you learned a lot of fun things and let's get to this DIY. Okay, let's talk about what you will need to make this DIY. First things first, you'll need an empty carton. You'll need a bunch of white polymer clay for the base and then a few different colors for the accent or stone texture. You'll need a clay roller. You can also use a rolling pin and then either a real plant and some soil or some faux plants and some floral foam. I'm using fake plants because I am a terrible plant parent. So faux plants are really best for this planter so it doesn't break down on the sides long term because it is paper it can biodegrade a little bit if you want this to last a while i would definitely go with faux plants plus you can't kill them so you also need a knife to cut your clay with any kind of knife will work and then an oven and a pan and you also might need some wax paper depending on what your work surface is like Step number one is to decide how tall you want your planner to be. So you can make it totally square by using the same distance up here, or you can make it a little bit taller 
or shorter depending on your preference. The next step is just to measure all the way around your carton and cut off the top with your box knife, making sure that it's even. This is gonna be the inside basis of your planter. Be sure to recycle the top of your planter, do not throw it away, because it's half a carton, but you can still recycle it. So the next step is to roll out your white clay. Try to do it in a long strip that's as tall as your planter is going to be and then enough to wrap all the way around and another little square to attach on the bottom. Once you have your white clay all rolled out, you can start cutting little chunks of your colored clay. Vary the shapes and sizes. Then you can start pressing those chunks into the white clay in a pattern that's a little bit random. Make sure you're mixing up colors, shapes, and sizes for the best texture. those in you can just take your roller and smooth everything out make sure they're all rolled in and even wrap your clay around your carton. So, so wrap your clay around the outside of your carton. Fold any extra inside to give it a really clean edge. and then attach your extra square on the bottom and pinch it together and smooth it out. Once your carton is all wrapped in clay, you can bake it in the oven according to the directions of your clay. Mine says 300 degrees for 10 to 30 minutes. Once you've let that cool, if you're doing faux plants, you just wanna cut that floral foam to fit. and then arrange and stick in your faux plants into your planter. If you're doing 
real plants, I would start with a layer of gravel just to make sure the roots don't get too wet, then add your soil and arrange your plants. Ta-da, you're all done. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to like it, not just emotionally, hit the like button, and then hit that red subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with all my fun and fresh ideas. Oh, and then recycle your cartons. Seriously, don't be a trashy person. It's good for the planet. Just wanna go, just wanna go home, home. I'm on my way back home.